So when God was calling Moses in Exodus 3.15, God didn't call Moses without attaching names. He said, I am God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is identifying himself with relationships with the certain individuals. He said, I'm God of Abraham. He had a relationship with Abraham. I'm God of Isaac. He had a relationship with, with Isaac. And then he stops on Jacob. He doesn't say, I, I, and I'm your God. There was no personal relationship. What is needed is for you to start building a personal relationship. So that when you stand up and say, in the name of Jesus, demons you don't say, who are you? Who do you think you are? Watch this. Simon Bajona. He was called Simon Bajona. Until that name was changed to Peter, it is only when the gates of hell could not prevail. But as long as his name was Simon Bajona, gates of hell were prevailing. Did you hear that? Oh, yes. To an extent that because they were not hear this, when his name changed to Peter, demons and the devil thought as usual, we go and touch this guy. We go and touch this guy. Let's go again. But they didn't know his name had changed. And Peter, Peter here is no longer Simon. And Jesus said, Peter, the devil's coming to touch you. Did he prevail? I have prayed for you. The gates failed to prevail. Do you know why? His name had changed. There is so much that I want to show you here that is very important. In the book of Acts chapter 3, the Bible says, and, and Peter was walking, and he saw a man begging for arms at the beautiful gate. What did Peter say? Silver and gold I do not have. What I have, such I give in the name of Jesus. What did Peter have? The character. What I give you is the character. Rise up and walk. And then he went to pick him up. This is exactly what Jesus would have done. This is the character of Jesus. Rise up and walk. And the man stood up and walked. It's the character. So when I'm preaching and I see people coming with wheelchairs, people coming, oh, I want to walk, I want to walk. The first thing that comes in my mind is not like, I have to pray for this person to walk. That's where it doesn't work. It doesn't work. If you think like that, that I, I, I will pray, I'll put my hand up, it will not work. Just being the character of Jesus. What could Jesus do here? What is his character? So when we say in the name, in the character, rise up and walk. Say in the character. In the character. character. Hear that. Are you following? In Acts 3, 6, then Peter said in, in, New, uh, 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 in NIV, silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name, in the character of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. You following? Yes. So what you need, if you want to see God moving around you, is character. 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 Say character. character. Don't, don't joke. The whole night. We are praying tonight. Amen. We are praying tonight. Amen. We are praying tonight. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we command this thing to come out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The whole night. Wake up in the morning. The problem, instead of kneeling, bowing, is actually standing. He says, I know Major One. I know Jesus. But who are you to be telling me to, to come out? Sons of Skeva. <laughs> Who are 
are you? Who do you think you are? But hear this. It is because you maybe you didn't know this. That you know that you are no longer using your character. It's not you. It is not you facing the devil. It is not you facing the situation. It is the character of Jesus. When you say in the name of Jesus, you are meaning I am coming in the character of Jesus. Can you imagine if you're in a movie and you are playing a character of Jesus? It's exactly how you must think. When you say in the name, I come to you in the name of the Lord. I come to you in the character of the Lord. So when you see me coming to you, you are seeing the Lord coming. Did you hear that? So David said what? He said, I do not come to you with a spear, no javelin. But I come to you. This is Goliath. Goliath is standing in front of him. He said, I come to you in the name of what? In 1 Samuel 17, 45. He says, I come to you in the name of. So the moment, the moment Goliath was standing. Looking at Goliath coming there, I mean, David coming there, he says, you young boy, 1 Samuel 17, 45. He said, you young boy, oh, look at that. David said to the Philistine, you come against him with a sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the character. I am now in the character. I am now wearing the character. Of the Lord. He said, I come to you in the name. Did you hear that? Yes. I come to you in the name. In the name of the Lord. Watch that. Goliath is looking at a young boy, but God, David just proclaimed that I have removed my identity, I have removed my character. Now, Goliath, you are facing the Lord. And how does the Lord look like? The Bible says, mighty. The Lord is mighty in battle. Oh, yes. How does the Lord look like? The Bible says, he's like the voice of rushing water. Mighty water. He's like a storm of the wind. He's like an earthquake. At that point in time, Goliath now was facing this now. He was facing the light. He was facing the lead of the valley. He was facing the rock of ages. He was facing the whole universe. He was facing the king, the lord of all kings, the lord of hosts. David had disappeared. It was the character of the lord now. Ha! Ah, just a small stone like this, the man was falling. The power is not in that name you have mentioned. The power is in the character. Am I talking to somebody here? The power is in the character. That's what the Bible says, the prayer of a righteous man is a powerful and effective. The angels of the Lord encampers around those who fear him and delivers them out of their trouble. I want to make a prayer tonight and I will send that situation on its knees. I will send it on its knees. I will send it on its confession. It will confess that the Jesus whom I'm preaching, I'm talking about, is Lord to the glory of the Father. Thank you, Father. You ready? Oh, yes. huh. I want to make a prayer. Any person, hear me. You have this ability inside of you. You have this ability inside of you. God has given you the name from tonight, whenever you mention this name, don't think you're mentioning some Jesus somewhere. You are coming in the character. Say now, say in the name of Jesus. What did you just do? You spoke about the character. If you say, you sickness, I come to you in the name of Jesus. And I command you out. What are you saying? I am coming in the character of Jesus. And I command you out. At that point in time, 
The sickness is not facing you. It is facing Jesus. It is facing Jesus. I refuse in my life to see certain things happening around and them refusing to bow. Tonight, if you're watching me, just watch this. After my prayer, begin to, to monitor what will be happening around you. Every, every demon and every spirit that has been playing around your family and causing confusions and trouble and problems, even in your own life, it will bow tonight. I say it will bow tonight. Oh, Rakata Yamahase. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, raise up a hand. I want to speak this to you. What is it that has been causing problems around you? What is it that has been happening? Causing confusions. Is it a disease? Is it a sickness? Tonight, that sickness will bow. I'm telling you, tonight, let that disease bow. Is it failure? All the times you've been failing. You do these fails. You try these fails. These fails, tonight the demon of failure will bow. I'm telling you in the name of Jesus. That spirit of confusion, the demon of disappointment, the demon of disappointment, the demon of, of stagnation. What is it? Hear me. I'm not talking about just any other name. I'm speaking the name of Jesus, which inherited the most excellent name. Uh, this name of Jesus, whom it pleased the Father to have all his fullness dwell in him. I call this name against your trouble, against your problem, against what you're passing through, against your situation, against any disease, sickness in your family, against any problem around you, against any delay, against any situation. I command in the name of Jesus, Come out! Every situation, every problem, I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Somebody say in the name of Jesus. At this name, the way I've called and mentioned, that problem is bound to be subjected to this authority and it will do what I've commanded. You will see things happening and they will all obey Obey this commandment. They must leave your family. They must leave your body. They must leave your children. They must leave your family. They must come out of your business. Come out of your life. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yeah. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That once we have made this prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every situation has changed. And I want you to watch your life. A lot of testimonies begin to come out. At this name. And I want you, whenever you make a prayer, challenge that situation. At the character of Jesus. It is at the character. At the name of Jesus. The Bible said, God exalted this name above all other names. Oh, no, I want to show you this. God exalted what? God exalted. In Philippians chapter 2, from verse 11, what does the Bible say? Let's start from verse 9. The Bible says what? It says, therefore, God exalted him to be highest, to the highest place. So what are you talking about? What is, what is cancer? Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. The name of Jesus is above the name of financial debts. I have debt. That word debt. The name Jesus is above it. The name Jesus is above suicide. Is above drug abuse. Is above addictions.
The Bible says, God exalted his name above every name. Look at that. In verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. He's highly exalted. Stop. Just to mention the name. That's what the Bible says. Do not mention the name of the Lord in vain. Don't mention his character in vain. When you're joking, and I saw somebody, and I want to tell you this. Stop joking with the name of Jesus. We have people who make jokes, comedy, playing around the name of Jesus. Stop watching such. If you check in the scripture, it took heaven. There was a judicial meeting. And this executive meeting in Colossians 1.19, they decided to make an executive order. In Colossians 1.19. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in Jesus. So when we say Jesus, all the fullness, healing, breakthrough, miracle, everything is in Jesus. Say amen. Now, wherever you're watching from, I repeat, from now, any prayer you make, see the character of Jesus. You're not coming along. Yo, I come. I, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. No, see yourself in the character, in the behavior attitude. See yourself. You are there. That's why what you do, how you think, what, how you pray, be very careful. You must be in the character of Jesus. You know, I'd like to pray once more. God to help you to understand this. Father, I pray that make these people understand this teaching for it will help them. It will help them, Father, to stop every tactic of the enemy. When they shall mention this name, this time around, it will work. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.